We're here at Kenneth Miller Stadium on the campus of Ragsdale High School, where tonight two of the county's perennial powerhouses meet. It's Ragsdale against Northeast Guilford, and you can see all the highlights right here on Friday Night Rivalries. Second year head coach Donovan Jackson is in the middle of a three game road trip to begin this 2014 season, a season that has seen the Rams face some of the toughest talent in Guilford County. They come into this game 0 and 1 and with a bruising loss last week to Southeast Guilford. And Coach Jackson said that his team has to shore up his defense if he wants to have any opportunity of making the playoffs in 2014. The Rams are led by dynamic duo running back tandem James Patterson and Tobias Floyd, who last week combined for more than 160 yards rushing and 14 points. They'll have to do much of the same tonight and come up big, as well as that 4-4 defense is going to have to be stingier on Ragsdale than they were on Southeast last week if they want to have a chance to win. On the other side of the ball, legendary head coach Tommy Norwood comes into the ball game 1-1 one one, with a week one victory over Grimsley and then taking it on the chin last week to the Dudley Panthers. As always with Coach Norwood, it's not about individuals. It's all about team. And this week will be no different. Where last week they lost their starting quarterback. So this week they'll band together as a team, one man for all, all for one. And they will try to run the football. And they will also use the best screen game that we might have seen in high school football. Somebody's number is going to get called tonight. Matter of fact, several people's number are going to get called tonight for Ragsdale. The only question we have is how will they answer the call? If they answer it like they did in the second half of the Grimsley game, then Ragsdale should be victorious. If they answer it like they did last week against Dudley, then Northeast will have a chance to get their first victory in this young 2014 season. Our prediction, Northeast 27, Ragsdale 26. And you can watch all the highlights right here on Friday Night Rivalries. Dylan Godek, number 60, Elijah Moore, and number 76, Isaiah Wilson. James Patterson. Ragsdale fumble recovery by number 19, W.10webtv.com. Number 
number 28. Tobias Floyd on the carry. Touchdown by number four, Shamir Williams. Extra point up and good by Chris Moore. And with 5.01 left in the first quarter, it's Northeast 7, Ragsdale 0.
flag on the play, Kayshawn Whiteside. However, there is a flag on the play. No, Kevin Quick on the carry for a Tiger. Brandon Harris on the Kevin Quick on the quarterback keep for a touchdown. Pass interference on Northeast. Two point conversion, good. Quick pass complete to numbers six and a half. Northeast seven, your Ragsdale Tigers 14. Number 10. Number 16, Bryce Craig, but there's a flag on the play. Quick pass complete to number two. Welcome to Kennedy T. Miller Stadium. It's halftime, and what started out as a tight ball game has ballooned into a one-sided affair. It's Ragsdale 21 and Northeast 7 at halftime, and it's been a two-man wrecking crew for Ragsdale. Tevin Quick, their quarterback, has 75 yards rushing on six carries, including a spectacular 52-yard touchdown run. And on the other end, the receiving end, now, it's Taylor Steele. Taylor Steele, five receptions, 61 yards, one touchdown for 16 yards. And the other touchdown was again, Tevin Quick with a three-yard run. So at halftime, it's 21-7. to It's Ragsdale in control. You can see the rest of the highlights right here on Friday Night Rivalries.
quick pass. on the play. is up and good. And the score with 7.06 left in the third quarter. Ragsdale 31. Oh, flag on the play. by number 19, Darian. Number 28. 
Northeast Pass, intercepted by number 26, Braxton Boinkin. Welcome back to Friday Night Rivalries. This is the post-game show. I'm here with the victorious Ragsdale Tigers. They won the ball game 31-13. to I'm flanked by players now, Tevin Quick, Brandon Harris, Bryce Walker, and, of course, Coach Tommy Norwood. Coach, great game plan tonight. Started out a little shaky, but you kind of got you guys back into the game. Well, we fumbled a punt early, and then we kind of had our backs to the wall with some field position about the whole first quarter. And Tevin made a big run, and Brandon and and, and Bryce there played great defense, and we just kind of got the snowball going and started getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and our kids played real good from about the second quarter on. Right. Well, I noticed that early in the game they were able to penetrate the A-gaps and stop some of the runs, but you never went away from it, and then it started paying off big for you. Well, I think we kind of wore them down a little bit. I, I'm not sure how many guys they have that play both ways, but you know we only have maybe one that plays a little bit both ways. So when you're playing 22 fresh legs, it's pretty hot and humid tonight, and, and they're playing – five or six both ways, a big line, and they get a little tired. What does this victory mean for you? you coming off a tough loss last week to rebound like you did tonight. What does it mean for your team? Well, we talked to them today about, you know, it ain't about getting knocked down, it's about the get-ups. And that's what we wanted to do. We wanted to take care of the get-ups today, and I think our kids did. They responded and proud of them. Coach, congratulations on a big victory. Thank you, yes, sir. sir. Folks, we're here with the man that got it all started. When it looked like you all were down, Bryce, you came up with some big stops in that first quarter to turn it around for your team. As a team leader, what did you do or say to this, these, this group of guys to get them motivated? Well, all we had to do was turn our front four guys. We just needed a good push up front, and our three linebackers would handle the rest. And after I said that, that's when we got the ball rolling. Front line started doing their job, and our linebackers, got, we got there, got the tackles. Now, you're the middle linebacker, so you're that Ray Lewis kind of guy. You, yes, you're seeing it all, getting all over the field. Yes, sir. What did you see tonight to let you know you could hit that A-gap the way you did? Uh, the fullback told it all. If he was offset, it was either going to be a jet sweep or something to the outside. If he was right behind the quarterback center, it was coming right up the middle. And, all, and that's all I need to know. Good deal, man. Brandon, I'm going to tell you what, uh, nine carries, 70 yards, but one of the biggest runs of the night, a 61-yard touchdown run. Mm -hmm. When you got to the, uh, the edge, we actually heard you laughing. <laughs> Talk to us about what you saw in that run that, uh, that, that made you smile a little bit. Uh, I was just excited to see the end zone. Um, anytime I get in the end zone, I'm excited. I love celebrating with my teammates. You know, it's just a good feeling. And you ran the ball hard all night. Uh, early in the ball game, they were stopping it up. Did you know, though, that you were going to get you one before the night was over with? Yes, sir. My team, we're in great shape. We do a lot of conditioning during practice, and I just knew once they get tired, we were going to start pounding it on them. They can't stop it. Well, great game for you tonight. Now we're here with my man, Mr. Tevin Quick. Tevin, all-around game, no huge stats anywhere. Nine carries, 75 yards, 7 of 12, passing for uh, one touchdown for 71 yards, two touchdowns running. But I'm going to tell you what, probably the most beautiful 52-yard run I've seen in my 10 years of Friday Night Rivalries. Walk us through that run, if you would. I just picked up the ball, and I, I knew if I got around, my team was going to block for me. Now, you came, you came first to the left edge, didn't see anything. No. Took it all the way back to the right edge, didn't see anything. Came back again to the left edge and found a little, little wall there, and then you took it 52 yards. Are you a track guy? Yes, sir. Okay, and, and what do you run the 40 in? Uh, four, five, four, six. Okay, well, you look like it was 4-3 tonight. Talk to us about, though, you, you had a big pass in the second quarter to uh, Mr. Steele. On that route, what did, you, uh, what did you see coming off to the line of scrimmage? Um, I see the uh, we did a, a pogo. It was a slant fake, and I knew if he got to the outside, he was going to be wide open. Okay. Well, folks, Tevin Quick is our most valuable player of the game. He's the Friday Night Rivalries player of the game. Like I said, 143 yards total offense, was responsible for three touchdowns. You'll have an opportunity later on in the season to vote for him for player of the year. You can go to www.tenwebtv.com and vote for Tevin Quick. Tevin, again, great job. Congratulations. And we'll be back with the power play of the game.